Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Ethan. Welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Special Edition. Um, so, I have built the Hearthfire house off camera. And I'll explain why I've done this in just a second. So I'm just going to go to my uh, profile here. And I thought to myself, well, if I build this Hearthfire house, it's... And this is true, it's going to take a long time, it's going to be back and forward crafting things, which I got round, um, I kind of managed to solve that problem at the end, but, and there's going to be a lot of crashes, which there was, and um, yeah, so you guys didn't really want to see me, um, hold on, you guys didn't really see me want to kill some giants and then have nothing to do, so all I had to do was, you know, build the half by house which would have just uh, been really boring for you guys so I just killed the giants off camera um, and some other bits and bobs I've, re I've recorded it all so you guys won't miss it so I'll just show it here this is me uh, killing the giants um, I very nearly die here. So I killed the giants in this uh, recording here. Um, so that's that. Um, what else did I do? I also met this guy uh, on one of these streets off camera. So I recorded this. Others do it differently. But I found that an annual offering usually keeps the giants away from our livestock. Some think it's superstition, but I believe it works. I've yet to have a giant kill any of my livestock. It's tradition. We mark the animal as a way to let the giants know we're giving it to them willingly. Sort of a peace offering. It's tradition. We mark the animal as a way to let the giants know we're giving it to them willingly. Sort of a peace offering. I have everything under control. Thanks for offering. Thanks. You take care of yourself now. So that was that little conversation about a guy with a cow. So basically I just asked him if he needed any help delivering the cow to the giants. Uh, and why he's doing that because he's painting the, uh, the cow and then giving it to giants as a peace offering so the giants don't attack his uh, other livestock and kill him. So that's what that was about, uh, and then here was the uh, recording of me telling... Not for a new fame. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my fame. On your way then. Excellent. You've done Here I just told him that the giant's dead. Your reward. And he's just let me become a citizen here. So I'm now a citizen. That's uh, the game clip. And then I recorded another clip of me talking to this lady. Uh, me buying the land. House available, but I, I like to purchase a house. Land where you could build your own house. So right here I pay for the house, which is five grand, all for the land. Is that land you mentioned still available? Yes, it's a fine property. Well watered, plentiful stands of timber, beautiful view. And then I buy it. Here's the title to your study. Follow the road east from Fall Creek, then north at the crossroads. Turn left just past Pine Watch. And that's the gamer clip of me buying the house. I also have one where I get Ayla the Huntress and she's now my uh, house carl slash sort of steward. So this is me just asking her to be my house carl and buying some things for the house. So I ask her if I, uh, uh, to improve the house. Certainly. What did you have in mind? And then I asked her for a carriage. I'll see about hiring a carriage driver at once. Certainly. What did you have in mind? It would be pleasant to have some music in the house. 
I'll make inquiries about retaining the services of a bard. Yeah, as you can see and so heard, I just bought a bard. What do you have in mind? I think you'll want a stable before we spend good coin on a horse. <laughs> yeah, I tried to buy a horse there and that's what she Certainly. said. Certainly. What did you have in mind? I'll keep an eye out for a good cow to purchase. So I bought a cow and some chickens. Certainly. What did you have in mind? I'll see to it at once. So that was me buying some chickens and I recorded one game, a clip of me uh, making the uh, bits of the house here. So as you can see, uh, you just build the foundation, then you go to like the workbench and uh, it, the options are a bit glitched, it pops up in a minute, but it will give you all the options to, um, you know, like make a roof, build up the foundation, build walls, build floors. There we go, so I just built doors, foundation, floor, wall support, roof, walls, there we go. And then I turn around and boom, there it is, it builds it all. So that's what I was doing off camera, plus I uh, went to my old house and took every single thing I had and then put it in this house. So there we go. Uh, I also built, I also let people come onto my land and build their own things. Um, and this is the overall sort of look here. We've got this giant wall around the outside, the big house in the middle, which just crashed. <laughs> that's so annoying. Yeah, um, so then you got the big house in the middle and I've done all the interior and stuff. But there's been a bit of a problem. I've downloaded mods and deleted mods throughout the playthrough and I just found about a thing, uh, I just found out about something called Ghost or Phantom Space. And when you delete a mod and you don't delete it properly, which I'm not really sure the proper way, I think you have to go through a ridiculous method of disabling it, putting it to the bottom of your load order, turning off your Xbox like fully, unplugging it, plugging it back in. It's, it's ridiculous. So apparently I've now got something called Ghost Space, which is mods that have disappeared but are still on the device. So how do I get rid of them? The, one of the methods was just simply to install and reinstall the game. So I've done that, so I've had to install the game and re-download every mod, so the game has just been installed recent, uh, like a few hours ago, so it's not fully stable yet, and I've just re-downloaded all the mods and sorted out the load order for the second time. Yeah, and as you can see, it's not going very well. I've had a lot of crashes just around the Hearthfire house, um, and then it got sorted at one point and now just after reinstalling the game and the mods it started uh, crashing again. I think it'll be fine once I get in the house so I'm going to try and get in the house before it crashes. Um, yeah, it's, it's a shame, really. The house is much bigger than you think as well because of uh, some mods I've downloaded. So yeah, people have gone to my land uh, I've said, hey, look, you can build, you can build stuff. They've built their houses, and I also want to get a, another uh, child. Um, I want to adopt another kid, and uh, get a wife as well. So the next few episodes are probably just going to be like less killing. Um, yeah, don't worry, guys. I'm not settling down for the end of the series. It's far from over. I'm just gonna leave my horse here and just head up. Yeah, there was um I had to clear out some uh enemies and uh animals that were around the house like to clear my land. There's a few animals, so if you see any dead animals, it's, it was just me. We've got this awesome gate that opens and closes here. Now, I want to go to the house. There we go, let's go inside Lakeview Manor. I'm glad it didn't crash there. It, it froze a little bit. I don't know if you saw that. So, this is the house. Um, I'm not sure everything's gonna be here, thinking about it. Um, let me just check something real quick.
Oh yes, it, yes, it's actually done it. No way. All right then, let me, <laughs> that's fallen off. Right, so let me give you a tour of the house. So these guys just walk in at random times, I'm not sure why, but you know, they're just going around, going about their own business. So as you come into the house here, this is sort of just the entrance hall. As you can see, I've got a couple of the uh, unique staffs on the wall here, Staff of Magnus, and you've got uh, the Creation Club one here, Sheer Gorath, and I'm gonna have the other one on this weapon rack if it becomes free, or if it doesn't, I'm just gonna buy it eventually. So it's quite nice. Uh, you can you can go into the uh, you can go into this craft workbench here. I was gonna say crafting table, and uh, you know you can just press A and just craft things, and it puts them all on the wall. I don't know why I could craft them because I've already got them. It's a little bit glitchy. Um, yeah, we have display cases everywhere, and yeah, this is the main hall. Uh, in this chest here. I have some instruments, you know, just instruments that he plays. My uh, my bard there. So then you come into the uh, the main area with the the table here. So this is where I eat and uh, family eats. In this chest over to the left, we have a bunch of just sort of crafting materials, random things like that. And then on the right here. And you have a chest full of baskets, pots, <laughs> kettles, and jugs. So I can actually. Um, what can I do for you? I like to make a request. Oh, that actually I can tell him to play a song. But uh, yeah, let's let's get him to do a song. I like to make a request. Of course, anything you like. Let's do a Ragnar the Red. Ah, a fine bloody tale. I can do that one. Good. Fine day for you, friend. You die with a sword in your hand. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to White Run from. So that's cool. Um, just in this corner here, we have sort of this alchemy sort of station, and in this satchel are all my alchemy ingredients, as you can see. I think I've got some more ingredients in my inventory. Uh, yeah. So that's cool. Uh, just little, just lots of clutter everywhere. Good clutter. And then over to the right here, we have my armory. People are just walk in and out of the house. It's kind of weird. Um, if I was rich and I lived on my own, I think I would like you know pay people just to walk around my house and stuff. Because oh, I forgot I am naked. <laughs> It feels bare without people. I like lots of people walking around. But at the same time, I would like just to snap my fingers and just like have them all leave. So I can just have alone time whenever. Uh, so this is the armory. Um, yeah, Stendhal's hammer gli is glitching out a bit. So let me just take it and re-put it back on here. There we go. So I have some weapons here. We have the, uh, the Mace of Monarch Baal. Uh, Wuthrad, you guys remember all these, Stendhal's hammer and this awesome sword here, the glow which is cool. On this side of course we have Dawnbreaker, Spellbreaker, Dawnbreaker? Yeah Dawnbreaker, and the Axe of Whiterun. Uh, and down here some ghost weapons, I thought these were really cool, and Ruin's Edge Bow. Here we have uh, Shield of Yskmore, Okin, Okin, and Eduji, Ed, Eduji. A <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce the names, but I think those are sort of matching weapons there. Uh, we have armor displays around the place, which it looks cool. Um, so let's look through the chests, uh, or cupboards rather. So in this cupboard here are going to be all my axes and battle axes. Uh, sorry, axes and battle axes. And in this cupboard are going to be all the swords and great swords. As you, there we go, I have many of them, and a wooden sword right at the bottom. In this chest here are all my uh, bows and arrows. In this chest here are all the war hammers and maces. Over here we have this display case which I'm putting like unique weapons in there. Uh, there was also a fork as well. 
uh, but it lot got lost down the back, fork of hilipuration, I don't know, some weird name. It was the one that we used to kill the netch to get the, uh, the staff of Shiagorath. And just underneath, of course, we have all of the different knives that I've got themselves, daggers, whatever you want to call it. And in this drawer here, we just have a bunch of uh, sort of tools, so pickaxes, axes, brooms, uh, and blaming tools, hammers, lanterns, pitchforks, shovels, tongs, saws. Uh, and in this chest here, we have all the shields. I'll just flick through them. There we go. And then uh, if we look just underneath all the armour uh, displays or mannequins here, we have all helmets and masks. Lots of them. Under here we have all sort of uh, body pieces. The actual main armour. Lots of them. And here we have um, boots and gauntlets. And you can see we have many of them. Uh, in this cupboard here, we have a bunch of robes and arcane hoods and things like that. Lots of robes. Um, so then, if we look in this final one here, we have scrolls. Lots of scrolls. And the chest just above these two drawers contain all the staffs as well. Obviously there's some missing because I've placed them around the house. Uh, in this drawer over here, we have just, you know, random sort of items. So like here are the broken iron sword blade and the handle. Things like Maroon's razor and things like that will go in there. And then just over here, let me sort this out. There we go. Uh, in this dresser here we have all sort of gloves, boots, uh, hoods, clothes, capes. All just sort of you know normal clothes that you would dress in. And then in this strong box, let's not take the skin, uh, we have all of the jewellery. Obviously I'm wearing a ton as well, but this is all sort of the non-enchanted stuff. This here is Singing Skin, you guys probably remember when we got this, but we actually helped him out in the end, the reason I got this is just, um, now I just asked him for his skin, okay, and he gave it me, so there's Singing Skin, pretty cool. And remember when we took this, this is the map of Dragon Burial, so I decided to put that there, nice little touch, and that's the Armoury. So just across the um, hall here we have mine and my kids' bedroom, they've got all sorts of stuff over the floor and shut them back in there they've got like their dolls and swords and in the chest they've got some clothes more dolls and they've also got some spell books because I want them to learn magic they haven't moved in just yet uh, same in here and then in this wardrobe they've got the just miscellaneous things butterfly in a jar things that kids like <laughs> In this chest we have other miscellaneous things, so we've got witch heads and Kimex, Kim Limit, Kalimex supplies. Over here we have a large sack, I need to actually move these, um, all these um, journals here into the safe, but yeah this is where I keep journals, and in here is the wardrobe where I just keep all the different books in the game. Not including spell books though. And that's my room. Obviously there's still things to fill up like put weapons on the, the, dis the displays and stuff. So here's sort of the kitchen area. You can cook here. And then back here sort of just a back room after you've all eaten. And you can come here and just chill out maybe. It's cool. And then finally in this back room is the trophy room, but I'm going to have to show that next video, so I'll see you then.